So good day everyone. Our topic for today is about analyzing the meaning of data collection, understanding data, and the ways on to systematically collect data. Now, so, lesson one, cover the drawing conclusion. On how we'll be able to state or to draw the conclusion based on our quantitative or qualitative research. That is under uh, quarter two, module number seven. So, conclusion is the first section of your chapter five. This section, as prescribed by Prieto, is commonly composed of the inclusive summary of findings of the research study. In this section, you can find uh, facts that were learned from the inquiry. And of course, conclusion serves as an important part in making a research paper as it is the chance of the researcher to leave a lasting impression. So, concluding qualitative research needs the researcher to recall more thoroughly the problem statement, so objectives and results in findings of your analysis and how they connect organize, and organize together. The aim is to integrate them to come up a comprehensive, logical, and smart answer or explanation to the research question. Research conclusion has its important rules in proposing a research study. These are commonly elaborated as the following. So, letter A, it stresses out the importance of the thesis statement. B, it gives the written work a sense of completeness. So, we see that we completely finish the research. It leaves a final impression to the readers and it demonstrates good organization. Conclusions are inferences, deduction, abstraction, implication, interpretation, general statement, and or generalizations based upon the finding. It should appropriately answer the specific question raised at the beginning of the investigation in the order that they are given under the statement of the problem. When making the conclusion in qualitative research, it should be drawn from the patterns in themes patterns and themes that were extracted from the real-life experiences. In Van Manen's point of view, conclusion can be illustrated in literary work as poem, quote, and or song as it conveys emotions like making metaphors. Through metaphor, like results can go beyond a descriptive synthesis of data. Here is the strategies or tips in writing a conclusion. Write in a manner that is comfortable to you in edit while writing, of course. Write to be understood. Do not try to impress or to sound smart. Avoid high highfalutin words to replace the common but clearer ones. Sometimes uh, the researchers are uh, using high highfalutin words now which is not uh, able to understand by the readers. It is not advisable, of course. Write from objective distance. So, remember that you are writing a formal academic paper. Write in a fresh new style. In concluding your qualitative research, you are supposed to present a new knowledge after all. Take note of that. Conclusion should be formulated concisely. That is, brief and short, yet they convey a meaningful and logical argument. It is important that conclusion have a conceptual significance and it can imply, indicate, or chart future research direction. In making recommendation based on conclusion,
A recommendation research proposed a solution to a problem or evaluates possible solution and recommends one. So before crafting a recommendation, the investigator must look and after crafting your research conclusion, again, we must propose a solution to a given problem and evaluate possible solutions and recommends one. So for example, if you have five alternatives, no? <clears throat> so you may choose at least one or recommends one. Now, after crafting your research conclusion, the next step for you to take is to write your research recommendations. Recommendation will be the last part of your chapter 5 actually because it is commonly known as the section where you can give suggestion on the matters relative to your research that must be improved. When writing, you must take the following considerations. Your recommendation must be brief. No? When writing your recommendation, take note to write it concisely and as brief as possible. So you are not writing like an introduction or crafting your review of literature. It must be brief and concise. Recommendation should be clear. You must state the specific suggestions that you want to imply in your study. And recommendation must be precise. When giving a suggestions, you should avoid vague recommendation to secure sufficient results. As recommendation should be clarified, oh, should be crafted briefly, clearly and precisely, here are some guidelines by Prieto that you can use. You must avoid writing broad and generic recommendation. Also avoid recommendations that are directly related to the topic of the research. We need to remember that recommendations are one step farther than the conclusion and you must take into consideration that recommendation must be specified according to the areas of concern. So for academic, for academic or for the policy maker and others. One of the most important things for us to consider is, of course, to indicate the references. Uh, it is very important, again, and uh, of course, it is unethical, of course, to declare or to write your references. References list is part of the paper that provides information necessary to locate and retrieve the source of the material. Uh, the purpose of the reference list is to allow the sources to be found by the reader. So it gives credit to authors of the publication being consulted and extracted from the ideas. The, all references cited in the text must appear in the references list. Bibliography is another form of reference listing with different style as it lists all the sources used during research and background reading. So, in the previous lesson, you have learned the in-text citation. Refers to all the citations that can be found in all of the chapters in your research paper. Proper citation of a source is important for you to avoid complications in problems on the authenticity on authenticity of your data once your paper is already published. So, inciting of sources come in two manners, namely in text citation and referencing list. The common use information in, in, the, in this manner of citation are the following. You need to get the author's name, write the date of the publication of the source, and the page number where you found the, the information. Reference list refers to the bibliogra bi bibliography and the references of your research paper. This holds the summary of the information of all of your sources. So, information needed in making the referencing list involves the following. Again, author's name, so date of the publication of the source, the page number where you found the information, the publisher, 
place of publishing, volume, edition, and other relevant information. So, as what we have here, this will be our references for this module number 7. So, we have Abdullah, Baraceros, Benseco, Calmorin, Cristobal, and we have slideshare.net, the PPT by Silverman. <coughs> and of course, uh, I would like to thank especially uh, the Department of Education in the Philippines for providing us this type of module. Thank you very much. So, I think that's it for research. Congratulations. You're done with the practical research one. Uh, good luck and uh, hope to see you in practical research too. God bless everyone.